Hello everyone, Stakuyi here, and yes, we are we are back. Equestria at War, My Little Pony, baby. Okay. Yeah, when I made that previous promise in the in the earlier video saying like, oh, when this video reaches 6,000 likes, we'll do the next part. Uh, yeah, in less than a day, that was at 5.7. So I'm really glad that at that time I had already started my next video that I had just released here yesterday about uh, Ching. Because holy crap, you guys are relentless. But anyway, we are back into the world of Equestria. There's all kinds of new things to choose from because, again, we've only done like two of these things. And I believe we said that we wanted to do zebras because we've done one on Equus. We've done one on Grafonia. So now it is time for the zebra continent. So here, let's just choose one of these as an example and go down here. So this is where we are. From what I understand, Zebrica is largely in different points, references to both Africa, like Mar, Mar Egypt, Mar, Mar, Mar Egypt, Mar Egypt, Mar Egypt, it, Egypt, but with mares. God, ah, oh, okay. What, are all of the pharaohs in this female ponies or anything? No, it looks like it's males, but still, God, God dang it. Kingdom of Abyssinia. Oh, hey, look at his cast. Maybe I should have actually done this one while I was wearing the cat ears. Ha, huh, okay. But you all get the idea. There's a lot of references to things that are in Africa, but then there are also simultaneously references in many parts down here to the Americas, specifically like the Mayans and Aztecs and that kind of thing. What else do we have down here? We have the, the free camel. Tra oh my God. Why do you look like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Come on. The Lombet, Lombet, it's Tibet, it's Tibet. But llamas, the Sapa Llama. It's not the Dalai Lama, it's a Sapa Llama. Oh, Stag Paul, because it's Nepal. And the Doli Confederation, which is Doze, because it's, it's deer, a female deer. Ray, I want to drop the fucking sun on you. Okay, okay, we're going around a lot of this way too much. We, we need to pick something quick. And I said Zebrica... I, I think zebras is the thing that we're going to want to do, and I'll probably put a poll out to determine what kind of nation we're going to be doing after that. So let's see. Big question in here. Big question in here. I saw this one before, which is like a reference to El Dorado, Delanigo. Literally has the golden city, which look at those bonuses. It's super tribal, so it has terrible effects, but it has a ludicrous modifier to have. So do we want to do El Dorado, or do we want to do the reference to Carthage? You know, screw it, we'll do Carthage, and then in the future, I I, I want to try this one and see what that's like. Let's go, baby. The Zebrican Carthago, Carth, Colt, Coltagian, yeah, Coltagian, Coltag, Coltagian, Coltaginian, yeah, Coltaginian, Coltaginian Republic. There you go, finally. God, the puns in here are going to kill me. Legends say that the city of Coltage was founded in 1742 BLB by Queen Zido. Not Dido, Zido. So let's see, baby, let's get into this. What's it, What's this like? I like our zebra flag up here. That's that's pretty cool. Zalathel Zarka, the heir of Zamulkar, not Hamilkar. All right, all right, all right, all right, I get it. Zar oh, it's Zarka, not Barka. Zamulkar Zarka, not Hamilkar Barka. Okay, all right. Not gonna lie, the references are great, but they simultaneously just bring me great intestinal pain. Let's see, Carthage, yeah, so like an army of mercenaries, that makes sense. Political instability also makes sense. And factionalism, wait, what is this? The rule of the Safrites is not absolute, and political power within Coltage is distributed among various factions that gain their support from different segments of society. Loyal factions provide bonuses, while disloyal factions give malices. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So do I have, do I have different factions that are listed in here? Oh, God, I have rebellions. I have unrest. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, boy. Ah, all right. So here's the whole faction support system. That is very interesting to see here. All right, got it. What do we got focus wise? What can we do? Lean on the Zarkid legacy. Is there anything else that we can do? None of these. None of these can be done. Nope, nope. We got one thing to start, but we have a unique focus tree to be able to dive into this. All right. So let's lean on the legacy and see what it is that we're going to decide to do. First off, start things off, get some civvies going. We're going to be needing that from the beginning. And zebra technology. What do we have in here? Chargers. Okay, so they got charger divisions. That's interesting. Adaptability under the Zeppican Sun. So heat attrition. Alchemy. Ooh, just a base plus 10% defense for infantry. Night attack, all infantry and tech HP plus 60%. Whoa, okay. All right, there is some pretty cool effects that we got in here. Production efficiency and war canoes. Are we that back? Wait, hold on, hold on. What, what's our what's our tech like? What's our tech like? 
Low poverty, limited literacy, or illiteracy, that's not bad. Industrializing society and developed... Oh, we're actually one of the most developed nations in here. That's actually pretty cool. Except for the fact that we still have a slave-based economy. Ah! Well, hey there, guys. I'm interrupting this video to let you know that you better go ahead and like this video right now. If this video can get 7,000 likes in the next three days, then not only will I do another My Little Pony video, but simultaneously, this guy will give you a nice big hug and kiss. I mean, look at him. Look, is he so friendly and cute? You little wanton piece of destruction, you. Okay, well, you know the drill. We want to get ahead of all of our neighbors because we're going to start against people that are significantly less developed than us. Production-wise, we got guns, support equipment, and artillery. I think that's exactly what it is that we're going to want. And we are producing a navy, too. Wow, holy crap. We actually have a lot of forces dedicated to navies. That's interesting. Don't know if I'm ever actually going to use that here. And we're losing political power off the bat. Oh, that's just lovely. Zeno Melted's Rebellion. After the Storm King's invasion, the son of an influential West Kotagian landowner, Zeno Metzcatalid. Zeno, screw it, screw it. Zeno directly contested Zalthul Zarka in the elections. The constitutionalist conspiracy. So there is a conspiracy in here about taking over the government. Lovely. Presumed strength of the rebel movement is dangerously high. So we have to crack down on the movements. We need to complete some focuses and we need to weaken them because otherwise we are going to have some kind of major civil war down here. Okay, lovely, lo 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 lovely stuff. Murder in Sycamian. Okay, so wait, hold on. We're getting murders already? This is descending into political violence. So this professor gets murdered there. Now we can either demand compensation from the place where they got murdered or we can lose political power and just trust that they'll handle it. Well, I guess we try to appease things by demanding compensation. Over the past 24 hours, the protests, which initially began in the universities in response to his murder, have intensified and spilled outwards. Oh, God, they're turning into riots. Unlocked decision, crackdown on students, minus 5% stability. As though we have more to lose, because we have no political power to do here. The parishes of Sikkimian apologize. Oh, okay, so it worked. <gasps> that gave me political power. Perfect. Wonderful. So that is a thing. They've compensated us, which means we should be allowed to do... No, no, we don't. Oh, we need just a little bit more political power before we can crack down on the students. I want to oppress people, damn it. Here we go, Zarka's Crossroad. So now, oh wow, that gives us a bunch of political power and we need to decide what the hell it is that we're going to do. All right, we give a massive speech calling for everyone to support us, except for apparently our sister who wants nothing to do with it. You know what? I like you, buddy. I like you. I like this look. Let's bring back the glory days. Let's do it. So wait, among the three of these, I would have the option where I can't, do any of these so if i did one or the other this is where this ends right so i'd only end here in order to get down to any of these focuses down here i would specifically have to do the middle path what does that lead us down to one sufrita oh the supreme sufit okay yeah we want him in charge we're going middle we're going middle can't do any of these things either we could just select this one now or we can start cracking down on all the issues that we're going to be suffering within our society probably want to do that from the beginning reinforce the eastern garrison let's begin let's remove these guys also at the same time time to crack down on the students and get rid of those get back to your classes people or else i'm going to fail you and by fail you i mean execute you so i guess the question comes after crushing the protest do we support our spy master i guess from the sounds of it in order to determine who is the ringleader here we pay them to find out or do we not spare the resources how much does all this cost? I don't think that it costs anything down here necessarily. We can appease people. We can do all of this. Whereas all of this will support us. Okay, you know what? You know what? I don't think we need to do, worry about it right now. We will go ahead and pay the political power. Give them the support. Let's see what we can find out. The more we can weaken them, the better. So the operation was called the Plan of Zamsa, orchestrated by Zano Mzeklet himself. Oh boy. So it worked. Oh, now we can root out the constitutionalists. We decrease the political strength of Metzlid's revolt, and we get more political power. Excellent. We are going to need that. Because as soon as we finish this, then we can crack down on all these guys here. Ikalini becomes prime minister. <laughs> Always fun to see. Reinforce the eastern garrisons. That one's done. That means we should have the decision. Yes, we can crack down on the bandits. Do all of it at the same time. Remove all these. That should help support things. All right, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to plan down here? Crack down on bandits and Timophil. Wait, do I have anything on the other side of the country? Oh, I do. Crack down on Western bandits. That is a whole thing here, but I don't have any political power to be able to use, though I am gaining. So we will need to prepare for over here once I finish things on this side. Uh, let's see. Okay, bread or stick politics. We're going to do this one, get our stability up, 
and then we are going to reintroduce the political chiefs to get more political power and then reshuffle the Western garrison and crack down on Western bandits. So we're going to get these here. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 that didn't automatically do No, no, this is the system for Turkey. No, I thought that was just going to remove it. I wasted all of my political power on that. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the same system as Turkey has with the Kurds and the Armenians. No, no. <laughs> I hate this system. I forgot about this. It's that random chance bullshit. I don't know if I wasted all of my stuff on there or not. In fact, who knows? Maybe I ended up hurting myself because now the resistance is even higher. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we're going to get reintroduced political chiefs. Then we're going to have to focus hard on the East. We got to fix this first, I guess. Shit. All right, so we're not losing political power anymore. At least there's that. So now we appoint the commander of the East. Let's get this done then. So between the commander options, I can choose between an addict, a sadist, or a person who might possibly betray me in the future, but will increase the loyalty of the constitutionalists. You know, let's take the risk. Let's go for it. Increase their loyalty. That's fine. So we can either reassure the landlords by supporting them, or we can offer land reforms, which pisses them off, but will make everything a little bit more compliant. Well, I guess the issue then becomes if we get a little bit more political power, we can appease the landowners and make them loyal again. So let's just go ahead and do token land reforms. Police reform. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, we're getting this stuff good. Okay, perfect. We're getting that done. We're increasing compliance. We're making people happy again. And it looks like some of our efforts actually worked a little bit. Kind of. The end of army looting. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yes. It's actually helping us. It's helping. Token land reforms. Done. Negotiate. Oh, Godelstan. Owned by and controlled by the Kothagian Republic. Compliance more than 40% and resistance less than 25. Okay, so I can't do any of that yet. Uh, we got to work that down. I guess reshuffle the Western Garrison and get that going. We need to increase all of our support. Another cause, another rebel. Oh, God, wait a minute. Oh, God, the Constitutionalist uprising. No. Okay, well, we're going to crush the rebels. All right, we're definitely doing that. We're definitely doing that. And yes, this is going to increase the Constitutionalist power, but we are going to help support this guy over here on the other side just to potentially keep him happy. Maybe they're now down to medium power. Shit. Okay, maybe I should not have actually done that. I, I can't let him get any more powerful. That could be bad. That could be very bad. But all of our forces, quick, we are, we're now in a war. Let's see. Field Marshal, we're leading the charge. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Go, my zebra brothers. Oh, and I didn't complete that in time, so I didn't get to weaken the garrison. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, so none of that is applicable. Uh, shoot. All right, Ko Sufrit, let's just go ahead and get this done. I'm going to be a little bit behind, but it's all right. All right, quick, quick, quick. We're going to surround, surround, and destroy. Surround and destroy. Oh, right from the beginning, we managed to trap some of their forces. Great, 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 great. There we go. There's two of their units trapped right from the beginning. Hello, kitty cat. Did you come here to witness all of the destruction? Yeah. You look terrified right now at this point. Oh, thank you for the kisses. So we didn't get to weaken the garrison. We didn't do any of that. That's fine. Don't worry. We will figure this out. We will fix it. Because that's Coast Freet Zorl. Can we do anything else here at this point? We can fortify. We can... Do we need to do any of that? No, that's a bastion. That's... Honestly, none of this is really necessary. Can I do any of these things? No, we might as well not do anything and just build up our political power to be able to do things. Maybe get loyalty from people. Whoa, are they abandoning the front line? Are they abandoning the front line? Let's move in. Let's move in. Come on. Oh, no, no. Might have been a trap. Might have been a trap. Come on. All right, let's do what we can. See if there's any forces we can maneuver and get caught here. Send these forces to the capital. Can we move on in? All right, there's Zapsa. All right, slow movement, slow movements. Whatever we can do to kind of cut them off. That's what we're going to do. We don't have the troops. We don't have anything. There we go. Yes. We had the brains. We didn't have the guns, but we definitely had the brains. Fantastic. And my sister, I knew that look from that little bitch. She betrayed us. Well, at least we got rid of the constitutionalists. That is a thing now. All right. All right. So that's good. Do we not have to worry about anything over here? No, we just still continue to have the crackdowns over on this side. All right. All right. All right. All right. Can I do anything else then? No. Western bandits. That's not a thing. It doesn't matter anymore. Compliance is still not good enough, though, because we don't have the pony power for it, which I hate to say. Oh, God, do we go, go economy or do we go politics? Uh, screw it. The Sarkid Constitution. Let, let's go ahead and take care of it. Let's do it. 
In the meantime, we need to worry about our compliance because that is dropping, I'm sure. Yeah, that's, oh my God, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right, there we go. We're spending the political power. We're getting that resistance down. We just need to hold out on here for a while, it seems. All right, amending the constitution. What can we do now? You know, actually, I'm realizing, I'm realizing this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the constitutionalist, is that a thing in here? Low power, loyalty. Do we actually, do we want to make everyone, can we make everyone loyal to us? Can we make them all love us? Or do we just say, fuck it, hurt our stability and do this? Honestly, plus 0.1 political power for the loss of 10 stability seems shitty. I'll take the minus 0.1 just to do this. Pay lip service to it. That's fine. Increase the loyalty gradually. We'll, we'll get all the support out. And let's see. Appease the opposition, which removes political instability. That's what we want. Constitutionalist or harmonite. Persecute the opposition. Do we just completely remove them? No, we're going to appease them. We'll make them happier. We're going to lose a bunch of political power. It's fine. But we're going to make everyone love us because that is the kind of society that we are. We kill, but we love. Even as everyone else around us in the world seems to be declaring war on each other. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh, 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 and now we can finally fix that Legacy of the Storm King bullshit here. Perfect, we do that, we get rid of our literacy issues, we're gonna be set, baby. Colthage is rising. All right, National Reconstruction Program and Religious Education. And now, yes, the scientists are starting to lose their loyalty to us, but it's fine. We will appease them, we'll get better at this, it's okay, it's okay. Now, we don't need to worry about the military just yet. I think that it's time we, can we focus on anything else? Can we do anything else? Oh, do we either go trade or do we go national autarky? Which, ah, oh, which one do we do? Which one do we do? Wait, 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 wait. If we selected this, then that means that we would give some of our civilian industry to them? Or is that to us? You know what, fuck it, let's take a risk. Let's try it. I might be completely misreading it, so we'll see. And the same thing happens as it always does with more violence and killing. Ah, the world of My Little Pony. Wing Barty declines. You bitch. Okay, so I guess we just establish... Autarky, then? We offered help, they refused it, so I guess that means that we just did this one instead. <laughs> Which is still pretty nice. Military factory and civilian construction speed. Oh, that is good, that is good, that is good. But are we finally at the level down here where we can negotiate with Zetrude? Okay, perfect. We can fix this issue now, finally. The war for Terran, oh boy, oh boy, even more wars. Let's see if we can finally fix these issues now that the compliance is no longer really an issue down here. Let's see if it works. I hope to God our general doesn't betray us because I know that was a possibility. So we're going to try and murder him then, I guess. Well, <laughs> in the meantime, let's fix other issues. I want to get our industry underway before we have to worry about anything else here that we're going to be doing for claims. Oh boy, <laughs> the pit of snakes. His voice was overpowered by the sound of a machine gun letting loose upon the confidence. <laughs> ah, he fought long, he fought hard, but he was mowed down by machine guns. All right. Well, let's cancel that real quick. See if we can go over to this. Restore order. Oh no, we can't quite do that here yet. We gotta wait for compliance a little bit more. Probably just the 42 days it'll take to take care of this and then we'll be able to do it. In the meantime, we have some actual political power that we can spend. Maybe on appeasing? Maybe is there other stuff we can do? Start getting those bonuses going? Military, landowners, yeah, let's make them happy. We can build this up and we'll be set. There's the industrialization and a lot of white pieces. Wait, what is going on over here? Huh, I don't know. All right, there is the arms industry. Give me some more stuff that I can build. And then let's subsidize industrial expansion. Give me some civvies. Let's get going. All right, there's the industrial expansion. Next chapter for that, reform the slavery laws. Okay, so slave-based economy now goes partial mob. Okay, that's what we want. That'll increase our stability and it will add indentured servitude. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, guys, guys, we're removing slavery. It's fine. It's fine. Ignore the other little details. It's whatever. And now we start urbanizing. Get that going. There's planned urbanization, that is set. We do want industrial rebirth to get that going here. But before any of that, it is time to restore order, which means that all this becomes cores, so we'll get the factories, we'll get all that fixed, and we won't need to worry about wasting any of our manpower equipment over on this side. We are finally gonna be set. And on that note, while I have the time, I might as well go ahead and improve worker conditions just to get our stability up a little bit higher here in preparation of anything. So before we do any politics wise, let's make a beeline down here and get our industry completely finished. Oh God, even more wars. There's wars happening everywhere. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a peaceful world. Nothing is ever peaceful. Abyssinia crisis. Wait, what is happening down there? What am I missing? Oh boy. Wing Bardian. Oh no. Oh no. It's the Wing Bardians. Mussolini. Piccolini. Piccolini is invading Abyssinia. <laughs> I wonder what that could be a reference to. 
Industrial rebirth done. We are finally now a modern society built here on uh, the northern parts of Africa, I guess. Our construction speed is doing good. Our research is doing pretty good. Well, I mean, it was. We're appeasing the scientists right now. But we are getting our people very loyal to us, which in turn is going to give us big bonuses thanks to factionalism. So now, with all that done, and we could do some of this other stuff, but really it doesn't provide any bonuses that we immediately need. So now it's time to shift our attention over here, improve the mercenary hiring standards, fix our military, and prepare to, uh, I'm guessing, probably go on a little bit of a war path. Unless I want to get down here. Oh, we can remove poverty. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here, cancel that. We're going to go down here and remove poverty first. A day in the country. Let's see here. Master impact minus 0.1, daily compliance. Point one, perhaps some concessions can be made. Add concessions to Federalists, which grant recruitable population minus 10% and stability minus five. What? Wait, no, no, what? Well, hold on, we're gonna be doing a lot of conquering. So this is gonna give us a lot of, it's gonna hurt our population factor in total if we do this, right? But it means that we will gain more compliance from the things that we conquer. All right, we'll make some concessions. We'll do that, that's fine, well, it's fine. We will boost the loyalty of the other parties too, and then distribute food to the poor. Yes, it's gonna hurt our overall ability, but it's fine, we're on limited conscription, it is what it is. It still means that we're gonna be good. There we go, now that we've distributed food to the poor, we have a completely, oh wait, no, it's mild poverty now. I thought that we were fixed. You know what, screw it. We're gonna fix our military, and then we're gonna go on a war path. I'm bored. We have been consolidating our control over this empire for the entire time. I think it's finally time we do something about it. Dreams of United Zonica. Do we get claims and all this stuff? What do we have claims on, actually? Okay, we do have claims and all that. What is the next step after this? Reclaim Kar Alpaca. The the alpacas! <laughs> so Lambet seized Coltvan State Kar Alpaca from us after the Storm King's invasion in order to gain access to sea routes for themselves. Since then, it's been out of our hooves, so we can demand it back. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And if they don't comply, we uh we go and invade. They have a very weak military overall. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, I know this is the person that is the crazy sadist from earlier because I recognize the name, and she genuinely does look like a Yandere character out of an anime. We have a ludicrous supply of weapons and everything. We don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Oh, and look, after getting up the loyalty of all these factions so much to this high degree, we now only have one negative effect of minus two stability. Everything else is just great. Nova Grafonia became a subject of Stalingrad. Whoa! Whoa, I have not seen that yet happen yet. What? What? <laughs> oh no! Stalingrad is actually getting some leverage up here. What? All right. Now, what do they say? What do they say? Do they accept? Do they accept? Oh, they returned it. Excellent. Kind of wish that they hadn't, though. That means that we could have attacked them then. Now, we could either liberate Southern Zonica or destroy our nemesis. Oh, wait. 80% war support. Why do I not? Oh, appease the Harmonites. How long? Nine days. Okay. We can actually wait. We can wait. All right. That one should be done. And soldier. I can hire mercenaries. Creates 120 with division of chargers, pegasi, knights, or dragon whelps. Whoa, I can hire mercenaries by giving away civilian factories. What? Oh, that is cool. That is actually a really cool feature. For a year, actually, just that. Total war be waged upon Quagatai, like the Chagatai clan. I recognize what that is in history. I don't know if any of the developers of this mod are watching this, but I recognize that. Quagatai is Chagatai. I know what that is. Destroy our nemesis. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Fact, aggressive. They don't have the troops. They don't have anything. What do they have? Nine divisions? Yeah, no, we're wiping them out. Go, go, my zebra hordes. Surround and destroy. Surround and destroy. Are those giraffes? Those are fucking giraffes. <laughs> I just randomly clicked and found that. What? Oh, we are losing our population fast. Okay. Yeah, that's all garrisons that's happening here. We're going to get that fixed in here in just a second. The grand sacrifice. What do we have? So which god are we going to sacrifice something to? Zaal Zarkin. So it's Baal. It's it's literally Baal. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Race specific technology. Or it could get political power, monthly population. Who? That is big. Do you want to take the risk? Like you get a bonus here. So it looks like he, it comes in two forms, either the king or the storm. Which one are you going to get? Eh, you know, I don't want to take a risk here. Let's go ahead and sacrifice to Xanet. Let's just get that done. Give us a little bit of stability, get a little bit of preparation. That's fine. And there goes Quagatai, pre-industrial artillery. Yeah, they had nothing. They had nothing they could do there. So we're going to take the entire thing. Let's take all of it. I don't care. Boom. Coltagian Republic. Look at large, baby. 
After defeating the Storm King, Hippogryphia moves swiftly to occupy all of Zumidia, claiming it necessary in order to help the locals and protect them. Unlock's decision to incite resistance in Zumidian core states, increase military loyalty by 10%. Ooh, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So not Zarantia. That is all of this. There we go. There is denouncing the Zumidian mandate. So that is a thing. Awesome, 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 awesome. What does that allow us to do? Incite resistance. Ooh. Can I do anything else here on our own? Reach out to Kiruptera. Oh, huh. So I cannot do anything down this line because I have to reach out to Kiruptera. Really? An alliance with the slavers. I mean, I guess I already kind of am. All right, you know what? Let's demand war reparations. See what that does. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything or not. We will. We will see. The Yeti refused to pay. Oh, oh. So that instead gets a loan from the patricians. So consumer goods factories. Oh, well, it increases it, but it increases the construction of civilian factories and everything. Infrastructure. There we go. Let's get that done. We're going to get big bonuses to it. We might as well focus on it for construction just so that we can produce things faster here for the next year. The Great War. Hey, okay, that happens. Matter of media. Media must be tightly controlled or add limited free speech. Party popularity stability modifier minus 15%. Really? War penalty stability modifier minus 10%, change in popularity of non-aligned constitutionalist loyalty and harmonite loyalty. Oh, that will really hurt our stability if we go to war because it's it goes from like minus 30. That means a minus 40 when we declare. Plus, it will hurt our things for our party. No, we got to control it. We got to control it. We're going to be at war a lot. So that that's absolutely something we're going to need. All right, so while we can improve worker conditions, make sure we get our stability up here. We are more than likely going to need it reinvigorate commerce whoa Colthagian commerce what is this trade deal will get supply what what is this there are entire this is what i'm talking about guys this is what i'm talking about for how impressive stuff like this mod is it adds entire new mechanics into the game that don't exist from the very beginning it's genuinely very good carthage historically was a trade power that's what its big network was so the fact that they have this in here for an act establishing trade networks is amazing See, this is actually so interesting. Now what we've been able to do is actually get some additional trade partners here, right? Right? Supply, pearls, pearls, met, all this is done. Quarterly report, I think once that's done, we'll actually be able to do more. All right, quarterly report. We have completed that. Is that going to give us a boost? Yeah, it gave us a boost. Okay, can we propose more trade agreements? We can. Perfect. Now we have three trade partners with three trade partners. That means that we should be able to go down to the next level, right? Blood is thicker than water. That is done. Where is it? Revitalized economy. Yes, here we go, baby. Negligible poverty. We got that fixed. And wait, Corruptor is still fighting the Republic of Tobruk. Are you serious? That is still happening. They can't do anything. They can't break free. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. So I can just pay political power and buy a bunch of equipment here. Like tanks, motorized, artillery, anything that I could be having difficulty producing. Judgment of the Tribunal. Uh, do we want to go ahead and work with the landowners or get rid of them? Now nah, we're going to weaken them. We're going to weaken them because we're going to be in charge of everything, baby. Get all this political power that we can then spend on anything that we possibly want, like light tanks, anti-tank equipment, get everything going here. Now regain naval supremacy. We got to go here and consolidate everything. We get some really good bonuses moving down here, I can see. Elephants of Steel. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you got to get those Carthaginian elephants, I guess, or Colthagian elephants. All right, it's time to disband the scientific click. Get rid of that. Consolidate our power. Get this going. We're going to make a beeline through all of this, gradually building everything up until we can get one Sufrit above all and reign supreme. The Empire strikes back. Oh, hey, the Griffonians are coming back. That's nice. Polar bear communities declare one of the changelings. Wait, what is happening over there? Oh, the changelings are getting destroyed now. <laughs> the supreme Sufrit. We are done. Oh, and apparently I get married. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. He gets married. That's so cute. Well, time to destroy everyone, I guess. Let's see. Is there anything else I can do to over here? No, we can't justify. We like we've just been sitting here not able to do anything for the entire time. <laughs> Screw it. Let's just strip the companies that are here of their rights to mine our resources. We'll finish that off and then we'll start ourselves on a war path. What the f Wait a minute. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. You bastards. You, you bastards are killing Zarantia. That's my land. That's my land. What are you doing? All right, that's it. Time to crank out the war machine. Get this going. You sneaky little dick waffles. So now I guess we just focus on getting even more resources in our land, which seems fine. The great war is over. Okay, well, that's that's done then. 
free changeling hives. Really? Oh, look, look at this little happy harmonic dude. Look at him. Look at him. That's so cute. Well, in the meantime, we got the Griffonian Empire that's back over here. Uh, everything is consolidating. The Carthinian Empire? What the fuck is this? What? What is this? Okay, you know, this is ridiculous. This war has been going on forever. I need this to end because I'm going to take out Corruptera. So in order to take that out, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send you some volunteers. We can send six. Let's send them over. And let's see if we can finish these guys off here first because this is ridiculous. Oh, great. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Okay, so they're not advancing at all here. Like, like at all. Good to know. There. There we go. You happy now? You finally took it. Because now we can justify a war goal and we can finish this off. Absolutely goddamn ridiculous. Really. Just really. Justification done. Time to finish this shit off. You know, my friend, if you were more competent and spent more time actually conquering land versus trimming your facial hair, you probably would not have died. But we're going to go ahead and finish you off here now. There we go. All those wrapped up nice and quick. Nice and quick. Wow. Wow. He just wrapped up their entire army that was trapped here in the desert. Now they can't do anything. And there goes Corruptera. Fantastic. <laughs> well, you know... It's, it's nice that we were able to just circumnavigate the entire uh, focus tree there. Or circumvent. That's what I mean. Go around it. We'll seize their entire navy. We'll finish all that off. And boom. Yeah, there we go. There that goes. Very nice. Very nice. Which means now we should be able to bypass some of the stuff on our own. Perfect. We'll get that done. And now we can actually start moving down here across the focus tree. Kingdom of Hindo. When did that become a thing? What is... Lambet became a subject. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they became autonomous puppet of the kingdom of Hindu. What is Hinda? Hindi. It's Hindu deers. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. This continent is very entertaining. Liberate Zumidia. Yes. The mountain awakens. What is going on? I haven't actually played this far into the world yet here, but everything is consolidating among just a couple powers from the looks of it. New Sky Navy of Birds. Oh my lord. What is happening here? The Kingdom of Rosanna joins the United Kingdom of Eris. Are you serious? I mean, if, if if you wanted to do that, then I guess that that's feasible. That could be done. So here we go. That means war. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Wait, do they actually have naval supremacy over me here? Seriously? Really? All right. Well, I guess we're just going to need to go down here and consolidate then. <laughs> oh God. They landed a bunch of forces in the north. Whoa, okay. Okay, was not expecting that. Was not expecting that, but it's happening. Oh my god, I completely forgot about all these forces that were over here. What? Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Okay, okay. We are we are going to withdraw. We're going to withdraw. We're going to withdraw all forces here. Yeah, I'm going to use lose one or two units, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to consolidate and we're going to wipe them out. God damn it. Naval invasions. Naval invasions everywhere. Oh god, this is a bigger mess than I anticipated. Service by requirement. We need all the men in here we can get. Come on. All right, come on. Wipe out the north. There we go. There we go. Wipe them out. All right, come on. Come on. We are bleeding through all of our manpower. Come on. Come on. We got to push them back. This is getting ridiculous. That's like eight different naval invasions. Come on. Oh, oh, there's Rosanna. Thank God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Wipe them. Wipe them. Oh, it's cost us all of our manpower. We're losing everything. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. All right, we finally managed to secure it. Now to just try and figure out maybe how to get across to the other side because boy, oh boy, is this bad. Also occupied territory. I probably need to switch this over at this point to local police force. Yeah, we need to we need to get that pony power back up. And so now I guess we just try and figure out how the fuck we're gonna manage to cross this. Wait, oh, 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 we do have naval superiority. How? Oh, I don't have the plan ready yet. Come on, come on, come on. Just destroy their ships. Destroy their ships as much as we can. Then maybe, maybe for the love of God, we'll be able to make it across. Oh, we made it. We made it. Come on. Come on, baby. Head to Mount Eris. Come on. We got to wreck through. Destroy these guys. Destroy these guys. Surround and destroy. Oh, no, we didn't get to trap them. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We made it through. We made it through. We're destroying their entire Navy. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. We got to break through. I don't care how many of your zebra lives I have to sacrifice. You're all stars of the same stripe, I think. Am I getting that phrase right? I don't know. How many men have we lost so far? Almost half a million. We've burned through all of that that quickly. Oh boy. That was, there was a lot of sacrifice that was needed to take this stuff. And there you have it, my friends. The Colthagian Republic. Full, big, and beautiful. Does that mean we can do anything else? Liberate Warzena. We already bypassed that. It's already done. Proclaim the Pan-Zonikin Nation. 
Triumph of Zonica, a great victory for the Zonican people. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Citizens, Zonicans, I am proud to speak to you today as your Sifrit. For years, we have suffered under Ford oppression, division, and uncertainty. And it all it cost us to secure that future was half a million lives. Form the government of national unity with the fall of Eris from a position to reorganize our hold on the country. Release the kingdom of Eris as a satellite. Formation of the government of national unity. Yeah, sure. There we go. Yeah, we release Eris as a corptocracy here. The government of national unity with a very sly look. I don't think I like the look of you, buddy. Comically corrupt kleptocrat. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. It's good to know that we could release someone that's in charge of all this. Well, everyone, that is the end of today's episode, I think. We've managed to reestablish the Zonican Republic out of the uh, Colthagian Republic. Uh, this was a very fun run, I gotta say. This was actually very entertaining. I loved all the different systems that it had in the end with... Um, the rebellion, the civil war, and then of course we have all the trade deals that you can do. Buying all the equipment, Kultaji and Commerce, this is cool. This is a really cool system, and I love all the historical references they put into it for different things. Everyone, this has been Stakui. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you give this video a like. Make sure to comment. Let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. And hey, as I said earlier, if this video can get, I have to up it again, 7,000 likes in the course of the next three days, then I will do another video on the My Little Pony mod. But you got to let me know what it is that we're going to do. Everyone, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day and goodbye, guys.